Hi everybody, Coach Emmett here with Coach Ethan and uh, and little boy Blue. <laughs> and we're going to work on some ball handling and, uh, today. We'll be devotional with you as we usually do. And so what we want to talk about right now is uh, is how you handle the ball when you're being defended. Okay, so uh, let's have a defender come up over here. Let's have Ethan come up here. Okay. So when you're when you're uh, when you don't have anybody on you, you can bounce the ball however you want, right? You don't have to be that careful about it. But uh, when someone comes up on you, get up on him slowly, there, Ethan. Then you got to be you got to see how he's got his hand up here. He's guarding uh, against the the stealing of the ball. Keep your bounce, keep your dribble low. Keep your dribble low. You see, it's harder to steal when the dribble's low like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to show you how this goes, how this works in a uh, in a one-on-one -on -one drill uh, in just here. But let me show you, share with you our devotion. Uh, we didn't get to start this devotional uh, at CAP uh, when we were um, when we were at the gym, but. Uh, I want to share with you uh, the theme that we had prepared for Easter. We've got Easter coming up, and what's Easter all about? Resurrection. And uh, so the uh, verse that we were preparing to talk about for a few weeks was this verse from Philippians 3.10. This is your memory verse. Commit this to memory. To know Him and the power of His resurrection. Philippians 3.10. To know Him, to know Jesus. That's what we're talking about, to know Jesus and the power of His resurrection. Uh, uh, this is written by a guy named Paul, and his, and his hope and prayer here is not only to know Jesus, but to know Jesus in a very special way, the way that God intends for us to know Jesus. Because uh, it's not easy living in this world uh, a lot of the time. It doesn't matter if you're 5 years old or 25 or 100. You've got difficulties in, in your life sometimes. We make mistakes. We regret it. And it's stuck in our past. And there's nothing we can do uh, to change uh, something that we've done. But uh, and sometimes we still live with the consequences of it. But God offers us something unique. He offers us a life in Christ that doesn't bear the guilt of your past, but the righteousness of Christ, a life that will inherit heaven. And a life that means Christ with you right now. Even while you're stuck at home with this uh, virus going around, you're at home. Uh, but I want you to know you're not alone at, at home uh, uh, through your faith in Christ. Uh, uh, remember the great Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And it goes on to say, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I, I, I will not fear because God is with me, even though I walk through. And the times can feel kind of dark these days, but need not fear. God is with us. God is with us. And so let's uh, make the most of our time at home. Let's, let's have fun with our families, but let's be safe. And, um, and if you have a basketball hoop out front, practice some of this. Uh, show us how to dribble. <laughs> 